Welcome to the 19th installment of Salt Air. I am very excited to have Dr. Samuel Smith here with me, uh, the creator of Rate, which is one of the things that we want to clear up in detail with this particular Salt Air and talk about why we're doing it, why is it, why it is so exciting, and uh, the benefits that it's going to be bringing to Salt Stack and its users as a whole. Now. If you go back and you look at uh, what SaltStack is, what SaltStack has become over the years, uh, everybody knows that we care a lot about speed and modularity and giving people a lot of options. And so last year we had the uh, wonderful opportunity to introduce the Salt SSH system, the ability to execute Salt routines and Salt configuration management in an agentless way over SSH. Now, one of the huge benefits of SALT SSH came in that it helped us make our underlying transport system substantially more modular. Now, when we make the transport system modular, it allowed us to start looking at the world in a more flexible way than what we had been able to do with Zerum Q. And many of our customers and users came to us and wanted alternatives uh, when it came to the transport for a number of reasons. And this is where we come and start to look at uh, RATE, the Reliable Asynchronous Event Transport, uh, which Dr. Smith has developed with us. Now, if we go back and we start to look at Zerum Q itself, the things that we run into is that Zerum Q is a fantastic transport and queuing system. But the problems that we've seen is that when we start dealing with very large scale of systems, some of the paradigms inside of Zero Q can become problematic. Uh, also the fact that there's a number of restraints with respect to what we can track inside of very complex Zero Q topologies which we use inside of SALT to accomplish our goals. And so a number of these situations that we ran into uh, helped push us towards the idea of creating something like rate. Now some of those difficulties that we run into is that it's very difficult to observe what's happening down inside of Zero MQ. It is also that we run into problems with TCP sockets and the number of threads which are opened. When we're working with many tens of thousands of servers, it can be extremely difficult to be maintaining the number of concurrent threads and file descriptors which ZeroMQ requires on the Salt Master to maintain its continuity. Also problems with respect to our ability to be aware of all of the connections that are out there, what state they're in, and then cleanly translate that into higher level application vernacular which Salt needs. Some of these are problems which people have just learned to live with inside of Salt. The things like the client having to wait a few more seconds after sending out routines because it isn't necessarily aware of everyone who's a, who is really about to return from those calls. But these are things that we're really excited about inside of RATE with respect to our ability to solve them in very new and exciting ways. So let's move forward and start talking a little bit about the RATE protocol. Now, we've started to uh, come across the RAID protocol with these ideas of bringing a lot of established automation technology to SALT and to the open source community as a whole. And so I'm going to ask Dr. Smith here to discuss more of how the protocol is put together. Okay. Uh, thanks, Tom. And uh, it's, been, it's been a great opportunity to work on RAID for SALT Stack. And I have a background in working with automation systems, large-scale automation systems, and one of the things that uh, they are designed to do is, is handle thousands, tens of thousands, or hundreds of thousands of nodes. And the, the technology there has been very successful over the years, and primarily in, in using UDP instead of TCP, um, and then adding reliability via transactions to the UDP. And that gives you the best of both worlds. You get low latency, you get um, performance, but you also get the liability that you need. And, and when you look at SALT, SALT is primarily sending 
events, messages that are asynchronous in nature. Salt is asynchronous at its core, and and using a synchronous UDP protocol with transactions is much better suited for doing that. And then, as Tom mentioned, we're using Curve CP, and the new rate is going to be able to support built to run on all the versions of Python, Python 2, Python 3, and PyPy. So if we look at the salt stack rate architecture a little bit, one of the things we did is we wanted to use a modern architecture. That means a micro-threaded architecture with non-blocking I.O. This greatly simplifies the development effort. It greatly simplifies how you look at the code, how things are structured. You don't have a lot of threading, resource sharing, multi-process, communications issues. Um, you can manage that much better. We, we're separating um, the PubSub queue management from the transport. This also simplifies things and it specifically allows us to optimize independently transport issues from queue management issues. And with conventional, like, like Zero and Queue or other uh, queue messaging services, those are all integrated and makes it difficult to optimize those independently. Uh, that also gives us more modularity, makes it easier for us to track down and find problems at scale. And that's one of the things, when you start to reach scale, all of a sudden things that aren't an issue when you have a few hundred nodes become problematic when you get to 10,000 nodes. We need to be able to find those and manage those and optimize those specifically. Um, so, so this makes SALT uh, more maintainable, makes it a, a, a better, better code base. Um, and if you look at the specific RAID architecture, we're not going to go into a lot of detail today, but it's basically a nested um, modular communications architecture. At the high level, the inner host communication is UDP with, with transactions for reliability. And then to optimize resources on each host, we, we can split the processing up amongst multiple processes on each host using Unix domain sockets for inter-process communication, but it's following the same uh, nature of, the, uh, uh, of the, the packets. And then we have a unified um, routing protocol that is used for getting packets between hosts and between processes on hosts. So it looks the same everywhere. You're basically looking at at, at uh, information that allows you to see the host, um, the the process, and then the individual queue, and so so it's able you're able to to map map the code and map the communications flow very very easily. And then as we already mentioned, the UDP comms are going to be fully signed and encrypted, so that there's no concerns about uh, about any vulnerabilities there. Now, to sum up. We've built the rate system in direct response to customer and user requests. Uh, this is something that customers have been coming back to us and asking for for a long time. And this is something that our very large scale users have been asking for for a very long time. And we're very excited about the fact that we've been able to deliver it. We feel as though the, the rate system is going to be able to simplify much of what happens inside of SALT and give us a lot more control over what's happening, which is going to help us mitigate and solve a lot of issues inside of SALT itself, which have been long-standing and difficult to resolve because of the underlying topological restraints that we've seen with ZeroMQ. And it follows the SALT model. We're not getting rid of ZeroMQ. The ZeroMQ transport is still, by all means, the default. Uh, the rate system is something which is being introduced in the next release of SALT, as experimental and something that our large-scale users are working with us on optimizing, but at no expense or neglect to the Zero MQ systems, which are well-established and do work very well. But as a whole, we're excited that we're able to continue to deliver an extremely modular system to our users and to our customers. Now. If you want more information about Salt Stack and more information particularly about RATE, RATE itself, the transport system, is in its own separate repository up in the Salt Stack GitHub organization. And you're free to go and take a look, of course. Everything is open source. Uh, the, the RATE system is uh, documented, although the documentation is still fairly young. Uh, RATE itself has only been functional now for, what are we at? A month? Yeah. <laughs> and still under very heavy uh, 
a heavy, heavy architecture. Yeah, we're still adding elements. features. It's not feature complete by any means. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but there's a great deal of documentation on the low-level aspects of the protocol. Uh, we will have uh, white papers out shortly which describe that in more detail, as well as high-level uh, documentation talking about how to use rate by itself without having to have salt running. And I wanted to emphasize one more time that uh, running salt on top of rate looks to the user the same as running salt on top of zero and Q. It's just that we have a lot more flexibility that we can do now down on the transport layer. We're very excited about it. Thank you.